So when it comes to Canva and some tools, sometimes I'm a little late to the party. And this is one of them that I'm late to the party for. So this little paintbrush thing can come in very, very handy for a few different purposes. So say I've gone and I made my design and I was like, man, I wish I would have done everything in this textile. So what I can do here is I can grab this, hit my paintbrush, and then I can highlight these two. And now it's all in that same font. Awesome. Another thing you can do is go over here, say, let's I put some effects on it. I put a shadow on it. I want a little bit of blur to make that look prettier. And I want to do, I want that same shadow across everything. Instead of going individually and putting the shadow on, what I can do is I can grab this one, grab that, highlight these two. There's my shadow. Easy peasy. Makes it so much easier. I was going in individually and doing all those. So let's play around with an element. So let's go to elements. Let's see. I use these stars. Let's grab these stars, right? I got three stars. And I'm going to move them around. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go and edit. I'm going to go into shadows. And I'm going to put an outline around it. Well, I want outlines around all three of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to go and grab this one and then highlight these two. Boom. Now they got it the same size. So if you want to keep an outline in the same size instead of going over here, going into edit, going into shadows and say, oh my, trying to remember what size your, your, um, shed, your outline was between this one to this one to this one, you don't have to. You can just... Take your little paint brush and go. And remember, you have it here too in your drop down menu. Another cool thing is, is if you have some elements and you want to change the color of them. So let's say I want to go in here. I'm going to go to edit. I'm just going to go into duotone. I'm going to pick purple. And now I want these two to be purple too. So I can go highlight this one, grab my tool, go here. Give it a second, and now they're purple. So we have the same purple all the way across. So that is another easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy thing you can do with this. Quick, easy, and it'll save you some time, especially if you want to change, like, your fonts over and stuff like that, and you just don't have to re-go through them and do all that stuff. You can just go highlight and boom, and add your, the shadows and everything. It's just awesome, 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 awesome. Easy peasy. If you got more tricks, please put them in the comments. And if they're awesome tips, they will be pinned to the top. I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Michelle, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.